white people. Uh, uh, I, I love you guys dearly, uh, but obviously with everything that has been going on over the last couple of years, uh, it becomes very difficult to forgive you uh, for putting me in a situation where I have to bring my own fucking bag to the grocery store. Uh, and that's something that's really hard for me to forgive. Um, I mean, it's... The, the whole rollout was sus. I wasn't into it. I think from the very beginning, uh, you guys are pretty much up to no good. I uh, got you guys figured out. Uh, so Saturday morning, you guys met. in a salon, ice rink, farmer's markets, place for where y'all hang out that we don't. <laughs> y'all made the decision that at 9 a.m., while they were still in bed, you guys are just gonna get rid of every plastic bag. Naturally, I wake up on Saturday morning, cook breakfast for myself, no eggs, I have to go to the store. It's 11.45, but that doesn't matter. I get to the store, and right out the gate, all these white people had all these fly-ass tote bags. Like, from 5Ks that they had run, political statements, LGBTQ rights, and racism, which is like, oh, that's fucking cute. <laughs> you, you think I might want an end racism tote bag, right? Obviously. <laughs> I think that's talking about me. Um, but uh, obviously I didn't get the chance. I realized I needed to bring my bag when I got to the counter and they said, how many bags do you want? <laughs> Isn't that your fucking expertise? I have no idea how many bags I want. I've never been asked that before. <laughs> uh, so naturally I'm like, I gotta buy a bag. They say, yeah, you gotta buy a bag. It's $5 a bag. Uh, and you would think that's when I bought my bag, but no, because I, there's another grocery store up the street where when you buy your shit, they just point to the box that all the shit came in, and then you can just carry your groceries out in the box. <laughs> so I went to the grocery store with the box. They were selling bags naturally for cheaper, like they do every single thing else. So now I have these very affordable, but very shitty <laughs> uh, bags that the bananas basically stick out of the top. So, uh, we look bad, you guys look good. I don't know what your intentions were, but I'm um, sticking to that. Um, and, and honestly, it, the, the, the issue with the whole thing is, besides that, I know there's an environmental aspect to this too. It's not solely so you guys could show off your tote bags. Um, but what you have to understand about the environmental impact of plastic bags is that that's not a black problem. Because if you, if you knew enough about black people, you would know that every plastic bag that a black person has ever received is inside of another plastic bag underneath the sink in our kitchen. So we don't, we, it, it's not our problem. Like when, when you see a turtle with a plastic bag tied around its head like a bonnet or like a plastic bag going through like a dolphin's nose in the ocean, that's not a black plastic bag. Black people can't even swim well enough to go put a plastic bag out on a sea animal like that. So you can't look at us. It's not on us. Anyway, my tote bag situation is right, and that's mainly thanks to my wife. I have a white wife. Boom. You didn't fucking see that coming at all. But she's great. She's my rock. She keeps me grounded. By grounded, I mean literally doesn't let me leave the house for days at a time. <laughs> Dred, you wanna go out for a beer? Nah, man, I'm in a loving, happy, committed, healthy relationship, so I can't do shit anymore, ever. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm 33 years old, I know I don't look like it, but, you know, I've, I've kind of reached that age, and my friends have reached that age, where now they're starting to get a little bit jealous of my relationship, and they're asking me, how do we get out of this Tinder hell hole, and how do we get in a safe relationship? So my, rela my relationship advice is always the same. It's very straightforward. Women, open your ears and listen closely. You have to commit to becoming a great dick sucker. <laughs> commit yourself to the act. And guys, don't get, too, don't get too excited because there's some humility that you gotta bring to the situation too. Being a great dick sucker is about finding a balance between giving a quality blowjob and the right quantity of blowjobs. <laughs> Extremely important. My wife, for instance, she hasn't fucking figured out she gives me toe curling, hair raising, eye rolling blowjobs. They're so, when I sit on the edge of the bed, I can actually feel the sheets start to go up my ass. That's how good the blowjobs are. 
but she does them once every eight weeks. So after the five to seven day high of a blowjob wears off, I'm a crack fiend for seven weeks doing anything to get another fix. I call it the Netflix approach, because think about it. Netflix used to be the shit. Netflix used to be cheaper than it is now. Netflix used to have better shit on it. Netflix used to have The Office, bro. They don't have any of that shit anymore. Fuck Netflix, we about to cancel Netflix. Oh shit. Stranger Things season four! <laughs> That's my time, y'all. I appreciate y'all listening to me. Keep it going for Jordan, everybody. Great. It's very helpful. Like I said, I've never met a black person before, and I learned a lot. Thank you. When I need another one, I'm just gonna be like, it's deal with bags, right? And they'll be like, this guy can't take it. It's, it's gonna happen. Uh, speaking of bags, I don't know what 